times now. Okay. I think we got enough to level up a fire Uxha Katana again. No, there's... Shit, I forgot about something. Uh, something I forgot to do. Let's give her the ash. Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> what new wares does she have again? I forget. Oh yeah, the grave key. We need that. So I'm gonna be selling. This, and then this, and then all these. We're going to purchase that grave key. And also, I kind of want to go ahead and buy the um, the dried fingers so we can summon one more NPC phantom. Just for the lulls of it. Um... After you played through the game once, you kind of get permission to summon help for all the bosses. I'm going to summon help for all the bosses except for the three last ones. Because I did all the bosses solo except the three last ones. And the three last ones to summon help for on because I was just like, I am so exhausted. I, I, I don't want to play this game anymore. It's hurt my feelings. Ah, all of the poi me. shenanigans and ah. Uh, Rage, 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 bitch, wine. Okay. Pretty, be careful. So there's the plus two. We need four more shards to get this thing to a plus three. And then we can start plugging large Titanite shards into it, I believe. Oh, also we got the kiln. Uh, the transposing kiln we can give to uh, that guy up there in just a moment. At the foot of lock, it was used if... <laughs> Uh -huh, brilliant. Applause, yay. And if you come on. <laughs> he wants me to become a finger. I'm not gonna become a finger, I'm not gonna do that. Because that'll piss off uh Cirrus, and I wanna do Cirrus's quest line. The two, like the three quest lines, I think I missed when I first went through this. Were Anri's other quest line, Cirrus's, and uh, Grey Rats. Look, not if such this. Shit. Oh, see, not trying in Okay, so what's he got for transposing? Recovers HP with successive attacks. Oh, we could go ahead and get that if we really wanted to. It scales with everything. It's a really interesting weapon if you want to go with uh, magic and faith. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this ring. Yeah, I'm going to grab that ring. And uh, that ring's going to be really good for us, so I'm going to throw it on right now. Because I do a lot of successive attacks for poise breaking and stuff like that. When we have faster weapons, it'll make it'll it'll be even better. But right now, it's just fine. Okay. So we got the mortician's ashes. We have the key. Um. I gotta remember where the key goes. I just remember where the key goes. Actually, I'm going to do another break. Um, but I'm embered, so... Uh, oh, I, went to, I freaking went to the wrong bonfire. God damn it. I'm not going to do another break, I lied. I'm going to, um, we're going to finish exploring this area and then I'm going to take a break for the day and do some other stuff. We've almost 
fully explored this down though. There's like a couple more things I want to find. We can get the uh, Miracle Trainer and we can get the Pyromancy Trainer unlocked before we go to the next place in earnest. Eventually my plan with the Uchigatana is I will put I'll put deep on it only because um I think I might have another source for fire damage. And when I get that other source for fire damage, there won't really be a point for me to use the deep damage anymore. Or the the fire Uchigatana anymore just because I already I'll already have a fire weapon. But don't quote me on that just yet, because I might change my mind. I want to budget my uh, items a little better with this run through. I kind of upgraded like 10 different uh -huh. weapons the first playthrough, and it led to a lot of farming, which I made things weird. I hear the alert. But yeah, this is Cornix, and he's well, trapped in a cage, and uh, basically he's cool with helping us as long as we let him out. And bring in some shit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's the abridged version of his story. Um, so let's see here. I see an item up there I forgot to get completely. Hi. There we go. I feel like the Lux stat's already starting to help me out a little bit, because these things are bleeding way faster. Ow. Wow, what the hell? Am I, is it just impossible for me to actually hit shit anymore? Fire clutch ring. Huh. Increases fire attack. So what do I have for fire damage before with this thing? 115 after it's... Still 115, so it doesn't really show it. Okay, 248. And then if I unequip this thing, it's... 230, so it's an extra 15 damage. That's not too bad. Mm, I'd rather get HP back from successive attacks. That's better, so I'll hold on to that for now. If there's a boss I'm fighting that's unusually weak against fire, I might look into doing that, but eh. at this moment, nah. All right. Let's grab this, Caduceus Round Shield, and we're going to go up and around, and we're going to grab an item that we left up there, just because I'm being a completionist for some reason. Excuse me. So if we head up here, go this way, head around, go over here, should be an item we can grab. Plank Shield, uh, I'm glad I got that. Oh yeah, that guy talks. I forgot about him. I want to play with him. Dude, fuck off. Leave me alone. I want to talk to this guy. Another Nana disappeared. The ground can carry the cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. I guess that's supposed to be a hint for how to join the uh, Moundmaker Covenant, but it's really weird. It's kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Take a right. Let's go back where we came from. I think I got everything else I was a little bit worried about. Okay, we gotta go down now. We gotta clear 
what's on this bridge here. And unlock the uh, the miracle vendor. She's gonna be oh she's a little bit hidden honestly. I had to look up how to get to her. My first playthrough. Bye. Please die. Please give me souls indicating that that yes awesome. Ah, might as well rest up at this bonfire. There we go. Okay. And we need to go that way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Anything else going to follow me down here? Eh. Nah, I think they're all chill. The really small enemies are the worst for breaking poise. They're just really annoying. Okay. Alright, this is the way we need to go. So I'll go down there in just a second, but first... We need to go connect the doors before I forget to again. Hi, rat! Blood bite ring. I don't think there's anything else over here. Let's head up and open this door so we've got a shortcut. Back to that bonfire. Is there anything else? Mm, not seeing it. There we go. And alright. Alright, this altar over here I think is the absolution altar. I don't remember what dissolution does. The curse, right. So that can get rid of your, um, the weird thing that's going on with me that, uh, the pilgrim guy is doing which I haven't touched on yet you might have noticed as I've been dying I've been getting something called hollowing that's the hollowing mechanic from this game and uh, it kind of cosmetically works the same way it does in Dark Souls 1 but there are some key differences first of all it doesn't really make you weaker it uh, actually kind of does the exact opposite of making you weaker Ow. Skeleton. Okay. We're still making our way through here, just kind of clearing. These guys are like half root zombie. I'm not sure if that makes them a little weak against fire or not, but certainly doesn't help. Okay, cool. Now we're down here. So I need to kill this thing. God damn it, get back here. Damn it, get back here. Ah! What the fuck? No! Go away! You evil thing! Bad! Okay, as long as another one of those don't fall on my head, I think I'll be fine. Weapon ahead. Okay, that's. I think that's where we need to go next. Eh. Let's go down here. There's gonna be rats. God, there's gonna be so many rats here in a second. Saint Salisman. Fuck off, rats. Fuck off, rats. 
Any more rats? Are all the rats gone? Good. Great. Thank you. Okay, dokey. So for lore reasons, I probably should have uh, talked to this guy first. Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Oh, you faces undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. Now you're poking around in people's cells. How very noble. <laughs> ah, which is a lost cause. After I brought her all this way, and she's beyond repair. <laughs> the woman's a couldn't... She's... <laughs> All right, well, his dialogue changed because we came out of here and I opened this door for him, but here's the lady. Uh, who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please, whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Touch. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Yay, sure. Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. And she bails. Cool. So that's the miracle guy. We have a sorcerer guy, a miracle guy, and a pyromancy guy, all from this, like starting area you've gone and rescued her have you how very quaint pitying creatures that are beyond help <laughs> very well I'm sick of looking after her at any rate I am Egon a knight of Karim I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety and only for that long. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> okay, so basically what he's saying is uh, if we screw with the girl or attack her or do anything bad with her, he will freaking wreck our shit like... Like, oh my god, fast. Heh. <laughs> Man, this fire age katan is so nice. Oh, it's so good. Does so much damage. Oh. I'm finally getting the bleed roll. Excuse me. Bleed rolling. Now that I'm using luck and it's just like, whoa. So cool. Alright. Um, dogs! Dogs! No dogs. Die dogs. Wearing skull. Nothing really else over there of use. Okay, I think I've cleaned this place out. I don't think there's anything around here we need to get after that. The only other thing I can think of is... Um, we can open that door from the other side really quick. And I can check up there just to make sure I didn't miss anything. 
just for just to be a completionist. But while I'm doing all this stuff uh, and do a little bit of wrap up, I think uh, I want to express what's kind of going on with me right now. Like I said, I got a new job uh, back home. I needed to head back because my uh, family's going through a bit right now with my grandparents. Dad's kind of taking care of uh, of them um, as they're starting to get super old, and uh, he's doing it by himself because mom's not around, right? So um, I thought that was kind of rough on him, and I decided to move back mostly to help him deal with that and that's been very appreciated and I feel like I've gotten a lot of respect from the family for doing that. They all missed me too. I mean, like I was a little bit homesick and they wanted to see me back. So it's been good for multiple reasons that I've returned to the fold. Um but I've moved back to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm dealing with having to have uh, oh god, I just wanted to look down. Come on, let me look down. I'm dealing with having to have, like, pollen issues again because I've got really bad seasonal allergies. But, all things considered, um, the new place I live is awesome. Like, the previous studio I was living in was, like, 1300 a month, and the new place I've got is... 900 and it's three times as much space because cost of living in Silicon Valley was so terrible. So, um, on that end, I'm doing really well. Like I, I've got a lot more stuff. I just feel better. Um, the new job is really nice. I can't really talk about it. Um, for personal reasons as well as security reasons, I guess. Uh, and I, I don't want to, get into it more than that, but I like it a lot more than the job I had. Um, it just, I don't know if, like, I, I don't know if it's totally because of that, though. Like, there we go. Yay, sharp jump. I like it more than a, the job I have, I, I had, um, because it's, it feels a lot more involved, and I can see my family way more often. Uh, despite liking the coworkers I, would, I worked with uh, in my last job, it was like there was some other stuff with it that I just couldn't really get behind. And this feels way more comfortable and way better, and I just feel better all the time. So life's been good, and that's probably why you've seen me doing a lot more streaming and um, making videos and exporting them to YouTube. Um, because when I'm not feeling well, I don't make good content. I just kind of complain and bitch a lot. And and when I tried making videos, when I was still working on my last job, I was just, like, really negative about everything. And I just whined a lot in all the things I did. And it didn't make for compelling and interesting stuff. I had a full... I had a... Like, I actually had part of uh, Dark Souls 2 on the PC filmed. Like... A, a good chunk of it, and it was unwatchable. It would, it was just bad. I was just like, um, I just wasn't okay with it. In the best, okay. Someone in the chat asked uh, if I can ask what, what I'm, what I'm working as. Uh, well, let's see. I can say that I'm helping people uh, as a paralegal agent. I'm giving people advice on on making their lives better. If that's like the most vague I can be about it, I, I don't want to talk about it more than that. Um, and I might have talked about it previously in a little bit bigger scope, but. I'm just not comfortable going into it any more than that, just because I want to keep my job life and my, uh, like, game or life and, like, all the furry shit. I want to make those two completely separate things. Um, in the past, I've had a lot of bad luck with, like, those two worlds getting integrated and caused a lot of problems, and I 
don't want that ever happen again. I want my professional life. I want people at work to know me as a hard worker and not someone that goes on the internet and says fuck like a million times in a video or a live stream. Like I do this to kind of just have it makes me feel good about myself. When I get off work, I feel like I've helped people. I've, I feel like I haven't dicked people over and screwed people around all day. Um, I feel like I've just done something meaningful. And I, a fulfilling job is what I really wanted. So that wow. that's definitely been a big deal. Um And I'm not saying that at my last job I dick people over all the time. That's not definitely not true, but the what I'm doing now definitely feels more fulfilling to me. So I've got all these souls I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend all these souls. Wait a minute. Is she selling Titanite shards now? Is she selling Titanite? Well, we can go ahead and buy the tower key, but... It's not really a point to doing that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna buy the tower key later. Um. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, one. Hell yeah. How many points of Halloween do I have? Only three. I'm not too bad off. I'm level 41. And that's a little bit much for this point in the game. I'm I'm really overleveled right now. Uh, so yeah, that, that might be a problem. And that might make things kind of boring for a bit. And might also be why I've just been summoning help for bosses. Just to make things a little bit more interesting to watch. But anyway, um, we're on the right track. We've got both of our stamina recovery items that I'm going to keep equipped throughout the entire game. Uh, the Chloranthi Ring is not leaving my build. Like, just period. Um... I might keep the fire clutch ring on though. Chloranthi, fire clutch, uh, left eye, and silver. That's four really useful rings I can have on right now. Recovery items that I'm going to keep equipped throughout the entire game. Uh, the Chloranthi ring is not leaving my build. Like, just period. Um, I might keep the fire clutch ring on though. Chloranthi, fire clutch. Uh, left eye and silver. That's four really useful rings I can have on right now. Um, let me see if I've got... Can I upgrade? Now, if I had one more Titanite Shard, I could pump that thing up to plus three, but I don't. So we'll have to do that later. But for now, we're pretty good. I think I... The last thing I want to do before I bail today... Um, is I'm going to say hello to our new guests in the, sh in the shrine, see what they want to do. Welcome back. How the gods are ever I am yours. All right. So she wants to learn miracles. And we can buy uh, the saint's ring. And the saint's ring will be pretty useful, I think, for a very, very small amount of souls. To buy that, to have uh, a guaranteed attunement slot, it's really nice. That way, I can buff my weapon and I can do a little bit of spell casting. I wish for tries, but first. Okay, yeah, pyromancy <laughs> flame, cool, cool, cool. Uh, learn pyromancies. What pyromancies does he have for us right now? Nothing that I care about. Cool, awesome. So purchase item. He's got all the pyromancer shit. Do not be gone. All right, let's talk to Grey Rat. Ah, you know I'm well. Everyone, I might as well. Okay, he wants to go on the prowl for us, and when he comes back from his first uh, prowling, he will bring back items. So we are going to go ahead and send him on that. There's no reason not to at Thank this you. point. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat, the thief, was once a well-known name until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> All right. See you, buddy. Good. 
So he's going to bail, and he's going to go get some shit. And I don't think I've died anymore, or I've increased my hollowing anymore for uh, Yoel of Londor to do anything with me on that. And what's-his-face moved. So, yeah, I think we're good for today. All right, that's the end of the stream for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. I might divide this up into two parts. It was a really long stream. I might not. I don't know yet. Uh, I kind of did a lot of dicking around. Um, but you know what? To make up for all my screwing around, I'll do one. I'll try to do one invasion. So let's go to... Uh, the crucifixion woods and try to invade one person. I don't have many souls, so yeah. Also, yes, I did give her the ash. Um, the mortician's ash should be the only ash I've actually gotten so far. All right. Invade! Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't set my shit, but whatever. Okay, that's fine. Let's see who we can harass. I'll do two invasions, just to show you the difference between being a, um... What's her face? Uh, a being a, uh... A thing and a thing. Watchdog of Fair and Reaper invaded. Oh. Huh. Well, this world's fucked. Look at all this. And the host of embers is over that way. Well, this is sure to be hilarious. She's already experiencing some issues. Huh. Let's work together, buddy. Jolly cooperation and whatnot. Ugh. Dear God! The fuck's going on here? I will help you, Watchdog of Farron. I was in your covenant, like, a lot when I was playing him the last file. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, he's got gloves. God, that's cancer. I hate this. Ah! So ridiculous. He has the uh, nameless King Spear probably because they were password uh, leveling. You can you can um, co-op with anyone in this game. Like you can co-op with any person you want. Period. Uh. You just have to have the same password as them. And if you do, it'll level you down to their level. It's kind of crazy. I don't think it works exactly right, because phantoms are super powerful that do that. Oh, I saw red. I got a friend here. Oh my god, it's the same fucking people! Fuck you! Ass hat. Like, like seriously, I can't 
roll fast enough to get away. Ah! God! That's so dumb! You freaking fist weapons, Jesus! These people are so annoying. I hate it. They're pokey sticks. This is this is PVP in this game. PVP in this game is flipping ridiculous. It's just insane. Makes me really mad sometimes. I can't wait until I get my actual... The weapon I want to use for PvP. I'll feel way better about doing this. I wonder if I'll just keep... I'm probably just going to keep joining that world. Same one? Yep, same one. It's the same one. It's going to keep putting me in this world. Over and over and over again. Anakin, I have the high ground. How many people did you summon this time? No, I'm gonna leave until until more people start coming. Cause this this is a gangbang, and I'm not I'm not cool with that. So fuck you. Where's this other mad spirit at? Where's my other mad bro? Oh, he's all the way over there. No. I'm coming to help. I feel like I need to, like, basically go completely naked in order to stand a chance in this realm. Because this guy can just chase me infinitely and keep attacking me. Eh. God! This guy is such an asshole with this build! 
This is what I'm talking about with the poise mechanics, though. Like... Like, I just can't... I can't get away from him. Some quality PvP. Quality qual quality PvP. It's uh it's some good stuff. <sighs> I really want to get another person. I'm gonna keep trying. At least they know it'll keep putting me in this one world. I'm not losing anything. Oh my god, it's a different one. Thank god, jeez. He's not summoning them here. Oh, he was summoning them right at the boss. Great. Good. You know, I could go kill the boss. I'm like right next to him. Should I go kill the boss? Summon help for him? So I can go get my freaking PvP weapon that I want so badly? I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kill this fucking boss. We'll explore this area later. I really do want my PvP weapon, like, badly. And I know exactly where to get it. I just have to farm, like, one enemy. Joseph the Smug! Hi, Joseph. Yeah. Kind of want to summon another enemy, but, or another phantom, but, uh... Let's just go ahead and go. I'll summon another phantom when we actually get to the boss. How about that? Okay. Hillary <laughs> did 9 11! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome! Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's really funny. Fuck. 
<laughs> invaded by Dark Spirit. Hillary did 9-11. Oh god, we've been invaded by, been invaded by two people. Alright, this is serious. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Come on. Come on to the boss door. I'm not dealing with these invaders. All right, let's go. Joseph Joestar. Uh. The boss go. This boss is actually a little difficult. I enjoyed it though. This boss was a legitimately fun fight for me. And he's using the Irithyll rapier or Irithyll sword, so I don't know what that's doing. But uh, he's accumulating frostbite, so that's good. You break left, I'll break right. What? Ow. Ow. Fuck. Take a drink. Fucks this bitch. Come out. Face your death. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, we killed the balls. Yeah. Soul of a crystal sage. Hooray. You did it. You did it. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's light this bonfire. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's go farm those swords. Fuck that thing. Don't go that way. That way leads to death. Not good. Hmm. Hmm. Think we can go this way. Herald stuff. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. No, don't kill me. Run away. <sighs> slurp. And slurp. Okay. And like that. And then we need to really quick kill a guy that's down this hole. Hi, buddy. This guy's got cool armor. Ow. He's also got serrated swords. Found he's very much easier to kill if you just get vicious with him. He's a special NPC though. I think he drops something? Does he drop something? No he doesn't. Okay. But uh, that's Paladin's Ashes. We'll be using that in a little bit. I think that is the one that gives us Titanite Shards. But I'm not totally sure about that. 
Okay. Oh, this bandit guy. This guy's serious. my thrusting fear my thrusting fear you got thrusted on spider shield yay okay anything else up here no I could all go all the way and even get the uh, armor I want to while I'm at this crazy and ridiculous just bull rushing to exactly what I want to get fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you dog fuck you randomly spawning dog fuck you mister guy that's gonna get on fire and try to kill me I don't give a shit about any of you guys through here awesome <laughs> this has turned into really severe levels of stupidity. Okay, bonfire lit. And I'm going to really quick, before I go on the rest of this crazy adventure, head back to the shrine and get one. Nah. Nah. I don't care. I was going to say I was going to get one level up, but I don't actually care. Let's summon some phantoms and just run through this place. Give me more. Give me more. More phantoms. It's over here. Notched whip, okay. I don't really see people using whips. Are whips not really good? I don't think they are anymore. They might not be. Bleeding butthole. Hmm? Yup, that seems about right. <sighs> All right, no phantoms. That's fine. I don't need phantoms. Phantoms can go screw themselves. I'm too awesome to have phantoms. Shit. Alright. There's another Estes Shard. Okay. More running. More running. More running. More running. More running past everything. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Just running through this area really, really fast so I can get all the shit I want and go back to doing exploring. What? No! Screw you! Go away! There's gonna be a Grave Warden up here and I kinda want to kill him to see if he will drop the thing I want to get from him. Come here, Mr. Grave Warden. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, damn you. Fuck. Take a drink. Curse word, great shield. And now, we will go all the way down here. And there will be a ladder, and we can kick down the ladder, and that will make a shortcut, so we can come back here easier later if I die, which I probably will, because this next part is going to be really stupid. Let's go on a crazy run! <laughs> crazy adventure with me. Crazy adventure time. We're going to do really stupid things because we can. Red bug pellet. Let's keep running. Do, do, do. Running, 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 run away. Skipping all the mobs. Being completely useless. Do, 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 do,
I think I can get that one. Woo, God! Ah! 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 ah damn it! I hate you. I hate you, little guy. You interrupted my crazy, awesome run of stupidity. Ah, shit! Drink. And drink. And continue. More crazy running. Roll, roll, roll. Crazy, crazy running. Crazy, crazy running. Huh, huh. Uh, recharge, 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 recharge. More crazy running. More crazy running. More crazy running. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, invincibility. Yes. Invincibility frames. Ha, ha. Fuck you. And more crazy running. More crazy running. More crazy running. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. More crazy running. Crazy running faster. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't run out of stamina. Drink. Drink. Fuck! No! No, 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 no! Don't kill me! No! I'm so close! I'm so close! I'm so close! Woo! 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 Yes! 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 Fuck you! Ha <laughs> ha! I did it! <sighs> Woo! Ha! <sighs> ha! <sighs> Open the door. Oh my god. Oh, was so much crazy running. Oh my god. So much crazy running. Alright. Let me get the shortcut totally unlocked. And then I, I need to rest at the bonfire for a second to get my Estus back. Good night, also. Sorry, I forgot to say that. One of my. The one guy keeping me uh, entertained when my stream just left. Alright. And back to crazy running. Crazy, crazy running. Holy crap. Oh my god, I'm so close to having my build. I can taste it. Okay. So, to let you in on what's going on in my brain right now, we need to make this build work. Um. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Giant, 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 giant. Oh no, don't kill me, Mr. Giant. Okay, good. Whew. We made it past that part. Good, 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 good. Alright. Keep going downward. Keep going downward. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Keep running, 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 running. Crazy, crazy, crazy running. Crazy, crazy running. And now we are here, which is where I need to be, because there is going to be a guy who is going to invade me, and I will stand over here, and we will engage in gentlemanly combat. Hello, Longfinger Kirk. How are you today? I know you. I've watched you for ages. Come at me, Kirk. I've got seven S's flask, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, come on, bleed. Bleed. Fuck. You got bleed powers too. We will see who's the better bleeder. I will make you bleed. And you will bleed and feel bad. Ha ha! Fuck you. Drop your shit. Give me your shit. He didn't give me his shit. Where do you get his shit? Hang on a second. <laughs> ah! 
I see. It is in a place I did not know it would be. But we can get to that place. I know where that is. First, we are going to make shortcuts. Okay. So let's open this door. Let's go... We don't need to go down there yet. We can take that path to get to where I'm wanting to go. Hmm. I wonder if I can summon help. I maybe should summon help for this part. Okay. Nah. I can do this without help. This is easy. Okay, we go this way. Climb up here. And then we go over here. And then we go down here. Oh, the deep ring, apparently. Okay. Enabled summon phantom. That's fine. I don't need him. We don't need no stinking phantoms. Okay, no, not that way. Yes, this way. All right. Up here. Fuck. I gotta find the uh, exact point where I can drop down. I think it's right there. So let's go over here. Let's jump! Hell yeah! Yes! Fuck you. Alright. Up here. And can I open the store? close. Really close to having at least the armor I want. Red sign soapstone! to what I remember or what should be accurate this thing should be really close to where we are fortunately I'm not seeing it that's leading me to believe that the guide may be wrong Show me where it is, come on. Oh, 
right there. Wow. It was in the room? Am I that stupid? Did I completely pass it? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, it was actually in the room. I completely passed it. God damn it, game. Stop making me feel stupid. All right. Welcome to the most ridiculous armor in PvP in the game. I want to see if I've got enough. I was not spending my souls because I wanted to see if I had enough uh, um, endurance to wear the whole damn thing. And I do. Thorns, 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 thorns. Alright, the thorn set. Hi. The thorn set is the most ridiculous PvP set in the game because uh, when you roll, you do damage. When you do damage to things, you can poise break them if they're other people because there's no poison in this game. So you just roll into people and it breaks their poise. Yep. Pretty easy to explain. Um, and it makes me very upset that this is a thing in this game. Because it's really cheap. And I've had it happen to me about three times now. And each time it happens to me, I get a little bit more angry. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to begin the long and arduous process of farming the uh, wardens for their longswords. And I'll keep the stream rolling just, just for posterity. Just so uh, you can see my pain. But I'm actually going to put in laundry first. Or, I've had laundry in. I just need to switch it over to the dryer. Let's do one run really quick before I do that, though. Just to see if I get lucky with these. I'm going to use the living shit out of this armor. Especially because it, like, fits perfectly in my uh, budget for carry weights. And it looks really cool. I like how this armor looks. Knight Kirk. The complete dick in PvP. Able to just roll into things and do damage to them is so funny. This is totally just like the best armor in the game. And it's almost like, it's almost enraging how good it is. Dual charm. Awesome. I'm not going too far. I don't think I need to really worry about my souls. There we go. Okay, so the two wardens I'm going to be farming are going to be right up here. And to be honest, I have no idea how long this is going to take, other than that I have, um... I'm kind of curious where the gold covenant ring, or the cold, gold, uh... Still, serpent ring is because uh, that could really help with this. Want to take a little bit less long to get these swords. I might as well kill all these guys over in this corner. Killed that one just with my armor, yay. Oh, that makes me so happy. That's so funny. 
I have no idea why this is the only armor set with an effect in this game. It's 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 just silly, really. Okay, an ember, cool. All right, this might go on for a while, so I might actually end the stream here. Um, I'm just going to leave it rolling for Twitch just, just for posterity, but thanks for tuning in. I know this one went on for like a super long time, but uh, next time you join us, I'll show off the, uh, the uh, weapon that I came all the way here and skipped all that shit just to get. I totally beelined and skipped a ton of stuff, so we're going to be basically playing catch-up when we get back. We've got a few zones that we're going to be um, exploring through that... I just basically completely glanced over. I didn't even touch. So uh, we'll we'll do that when uh, we come back next time when I get ready to go uh, to Fair and Keep. I think Fair and Keep's the next place that we'll be end up going. We we will be end up going. Uh, yeah, that's proper English. All right. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you with two shiny new swords when we get back. Bye bye. I'm also fully aware this laundry machine is going to make a shit ton of noise, so... <laughs> yeah. If I'm going to be on stream, uh, let's not make this for YouTube if it's going to be super loud. Whee!
Titanite shard. Yes! Woo! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, bitch! That didn't take long at all, damn. I just leave that in the video. I uh, I totally to I I put on the uh, freaking symbol of avarice and the uh, it just knocked my weight down and it was freaking instant, man. Holy crap! All right, I want to see this thing. Eighteen. All right, cool, 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 cool. I can I can get up to eighteen decks. It's the whole reason I didn't spend any souls because I wanted to make sure I had just enough decks to make this happen. So let's go. Let's do this shit. I'm about to beat some ass. I am about to beat some ass. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my god, these swords are gonna be freaking cool. Alright. Bail back to Firelink Shrine. We're gonna get 18 decks, and then we're gonna go farm two Hollow Gems, and then we're gonna go die a lot, and it's gonna boost our luck all the way the fuck up to where we need it to be. First of all, I want to make sure you. Welcome, speak. Very well. Then tuck take not. Okay, cool. Two of that. One of that. Perfect. Farewell, Ashley. Cool. All right. So let's go. Warden Twin Blades, physical, pretty ridiculous. They look really freaking scary with this set. God. Wow. Give you the Paladin Ashes. Purchase. Uh, uh, can we purchase the shards yet? No, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> Action one. Ah, just good what neat. Do I have any? All right. No, I don't just yet. I do have that though. Pretty be careful. Alright. So I need to figure out what exactly I need for hollowing infusion. I forgot I actually need the right ember for that. Used in hollow infusion. Um, doo -doo -doo. Profane coal. Where's the profane coal come from? Irithyll dungeon. Damn. That's really far away. So I can't infuse this thing for a while. Damn. Damn, that screws up everything I wanted to do. These are the weapons I want to use, but I can't use the freaking infusion to make them worth using until I get all the way to Irithyll Dungeon. Ugh, that is a major kink in my balls. But maybe it's for the best for now. I was really concerned about getting, like, all the shit maxed out exactly the way I wanted, but at least now I have the weapons. So these are the, these are the weapons I'm going to want to use with my build. Um, we're going to put hollow infusion on these, and we're going to put hollow infusion on our shield, and we're going to have insane crazy luck stat, but until I get that infusion, which is a ways off admittedly, um, we're going to be stuck with Ujikatana. 
And I say that like it's a bad thing, but honestly, Ujikatan has been serving as well so far. Unfortunately, I could have gotten it up to plus three, but... <sighs> well, maybe maybe if we explore all those zones, I'll get enough mats to uh, boost it up to, to where I want it to be. Maybe. Maybe, maybe that'll help. But for now... I feel a little disappointed because I didn't I didn't take into account that it would take a while for us to actually get the profane coal. So let me think about that. Irithil Dungeon's gonna be after Yeah, that's a ways off. Uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Ah, well, Mac, it is good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? You need to smith me this thing, but I need four more shards to make it happen. Oh, right, you, no, 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 I just need you to do this. Is that all? All right, cool. Let's see what we got here as far as number of Estus shards and other stuff. We got like nine Estus flasks already. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 pretty sad. Um, okay, so next time, uh, I'm I'm a little disappointed. I forgot that I would need to put Hollow Infusion on these things to make them scale with luck. Um. Which will increase the bleed damage and actually make them worth using. So it's going to be Irithil before we switch over to the Warden Blades. But that's kind of fine. I know all of the bosses between here and there pretty well and they're all really easy. But I don't want to like run all the way to Irithil. Because there's a boss in between me and Irithil and I'd rather pace it. So... Yeah, it would just feel weird if I did that. So let's not. Let's let's not. Let's let's take our time now. We have the weapon we wanted. We have the armor we wanted. We have the shield and the sword. I just kind of have to make do until I can get to that hollow um, infusion. Or maybe crazy idea. Um, At the foot of Lothric, it was. If oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. I got gotcha. you. Maybe if if something crazy happens and someone invades me that's a friend that can drop off the hollow warden blades for me, that would also be really cool. Um, because you can do that, and that's how people get really overpowered at early levels. But for now, uh, we're going to be Night Kirk with the Uja Katana that's made of fire, and I'm not going to turn it into dark damage until later anyway. So we'll just go on the path that we've already got set for ourselves. And take our time doing some exploring and having fun in all the zones that we just sped through like crazy idiots. So, this was an insanely long stream today. It's going to be some insanely long uh, episodes to put on YouTube. But thank you all for watching, and we'll do more of this later. See ya.